In this video, I'm going to show you how to add margins to the right side of your HTML elements, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's head to the screen capture and learn how to add margin to the right side of your HTML elements. Let's go check it out. So in this tutorial, we're gonna add a space between the green box and the blue box. And this is a very simple HTML page, the code for which is on the left. And I'm gonna show you how to add the style inline, and then I'm gonna show you how to add the style in the style block. So we find first, we wanna, well we know we wanna add the margin right to the green box. So we find the green box in the HTML, and that is the div with the ID of box two. We click into that div and we type style equals open close quotes. Type in margin right colon. We're gonna add 20 pixels for the value, semicolon. Save the file. Refresh this page. And now we see a 20 pixel gap between the green box and the blue box. So we've added a margin of 20 pixels and we've done that with inline CSS. Now inline CSS is not the best way to go because it is harder to maintain. Uh, inline CSS basically means all your style information is embedded right in the HTML like it is here. If you have a big site with really complicated styles, your CSS, if it's inline, is going to be out of control and very difficult to maintain. So that's why we prefer to put it into a style block or into a separate style sheet. Up above here I've created a style block where I'm just going to move this style command into there in, in one second. Uh, the reason we want to do that is because it is cleaner to work with, easier to maintain. You can apply styles to multiple different elements without a lot of extra code, and it will reduce your file size and increase your page load speed. All of those are very important things. So we're just going to copy these instructions, the CSS property margin right and the CSS value 20 pixels. We're going to cut them, sorry and just apply them to the green box, which is box number two. Delete the style equals and the quotes. Save this file, refresh this page, and we see that nothing changes because those two commands, the way they were written there, they're exactly the same. Having the command here versus inline with HTML is exactly the same thing. If you want a refresher on how to do CSS like this in a style block or in a style sheet, Please refer to videos I've linked to in the description of this video. That's how we add margin to the right side of HTML elements. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can learn more about coding and get even better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.